Joining me now in studio is the new deputy leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, Leona Alislev. Uh, great to have you in studio. Congratulations on the new job. Thank you very much. Uh, circulating all over the place is your 2015 debate when you ran as a liberal and you said, I don't recognize the party now, the country, economically, politically or socially under Stephen Harper. Stephen Harper is polling higher in Monk's Conservatives than Andrew Scheer. How can Conservatives trust you as the deputy leader when you've only been a Conservative for 14 months and you've condemned 10 years of Stephen Harper's government? Well, first of all, that was then, this is now. I've learned a great deal between then and now. And if I understand your question correctly, what you're asking me is can I really be a Conservative because of time? Conservative and the Conservative Party is about shared vision for the country, shared values and beliefs. And that is what I represent. Okay, do you still, so you said in 2015 you don't recognize the country under Stephen Harper. A lot of your colleagues now worked for Stephen Harper. They worked in that government. Do you, have you changed your view? Now do you think 10 years of Stephen, of Stephen Harper was great for the country? I think that a political party is made up of the people who are in it at the time and what the country needs at the time. And what this country needs right now is these people and this party and the Conservative government. Okay, well, Andrew Scheer said your work is to help people who voted Liberal come con become Conservative, especially in Ontario and around the Greater Toronto Area. He said, Leo you can be like Leona Alislev, start off as a Liberal and become a Conservative. You may be the right weapon for that, but it may be the wrong battle. Right now, Andrew Scheer doesn't need to recruit Liberals. He's got to recruit Conservatives. There's an open nonprofit organization that wants to oust Andrew Scheer. There's a lot of Conservatives who say he's offside on social Conservative issues. Uh, do you we think he needs to change on that? The popular vote. We have more conservatives that voted in the last election uh, than ever before. Let, 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 and let's, so let's we need reality. to do bad, better in Ontario. And so we need people who didn't vote for us last time to vote for us this time. But even before we get to that point, we have to do some real work in the House of Commons. We have to look at the economy. We have to look at but national avoiding, unity. But you're, you're, and we you're have avoiding to the question. You, those are all true. But there's, you, let's not pretend you can't smell the smoke all over the place. You know it. You've got a unity crisis in your own party. Uh, what are you going to do about it? I don't think that's it? a fair characterization. I really don't. I really? think that okay. there are certain, obviously, disgruntled people, and I am very disappointed in them. Because if they really cared about the country, and they really cared about the conservative movement, they would wait for the external revo review that we are investing in to find out exactly where we can why, do why better and they? what we it's did a, wrong. But why but the why wouldn't they? Because well, how can they make an informed decision on whether or not this is the right leader if they haven't got all the information. Well, let's talk about one of the issues. Uh, some of many prominent conservatives have said Andrew Scheer's position on same-sex marriage is has not been strong enough and you've had failed candidates in Quebec who gave him an earful this past week in Quebec as you know said he's a liability there. Let me ask you first of all do you support same-sex marriage and yes, do you, absolutely. Oh, you do. Does Andrew Scheer need to recalibrate his position on that? I think there's a big tent party. I'm proud to be part of the Conservative Party. There's room for all views, not only in a political well, party, but in the country. He's given his view. Well, you can get the, 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 the critics say it's mealy mouth. He hasn't been firm enough. All he'll say is, this is the law. I'll support it. it I'm just, I'm telling you what we conservatives have, are saying. Absolutely. And the Conservative Party, like the country, is built on inclusiveness, diversity, tolerance. We have room for everyone's so beliefs. What, so, what we need to know right. is what will he do as Prime Minister? And he has clearly said that as Prime Minister, the issues are solved and the debate is right. closed. But, but Leona so, Alislev, if that position was good enough, he might have won the election. He didn't. So what's going to change? We don't know the answer to that. We have to understand okay. what from okay. an external Okay, so you're saying review. he's so not changing his view. There's some very vocal people. Not, I'm saying we need to understand what exactly we need to do differently to win the next election. But until we have that information, there's so, no value so in So what's your message to Stephen Harper's former camp, uh, 
uh, Communications Director, who's on the show coming up, Corey Tonight, who's one of the senior conservatives spearheading this thing called Conservative Victory, a nonprofit to oust Andrew Scheer, make him resign, and actually rerun again, as, by the way, Stockwell Day and others have done. What's your message to that group of outspoken conservatives? My message to that group is if you care about the country and you care about the Conservative Party, then you need to make sure that we are united, we're focused on what we need to do for Canadians. All right, let's talk about the carbon tax. You're on record when you were a liberal of supporting the carbon tax. Do you still support a carbon tax? Absolutely not. Well, what happened? Well, I got new information and I understand What's the, new the complexity of it even more. Listen, the liberal plan is not an environmental plan, it's a tax plan. And they're forcing Canadians to be even more economically disadvantaged, where, yes, you want them to change behavior, but in places like Aurora, Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill, where you have no flexibility to change your behavior because there isn't public transit, you have no other mechanism other than to sit in traffic, what exactly are they offering us to do? Instead, they're just simply making life more affordable, undermining and punishing some critical elements of our economy and making us less productive okay, so, and competitive. So, so 14 months ago, you you supported the carbon tax. Now you don't. That's fine. You people can change. Well, you changed. 14 months ago. I, I start, stopped supporting, but yes. Uh, right. 14 I, months I, ago you were on board. Now you're not. Okay. The conservative team is as fractured as we've ever been public, as we've ever seen publicly, right? They, well, look, look, well, it's very, just as, I mean, you can try to spin it, but you know, there's, this is, this is, there's basically a civil war going on in your party right now. And I you can, think that's just a little hyperbolic. I, I, I think that they're obviously wanting to make focus around things that we need to to do better okay well if you if this is normal when you've got some uh, people there's a big difference between okay. normal He's, and hi he hyperbolic is, he but is facing a leadership test that is mandatory in april and Absolutely. let me what the constitution of the of the party says he's got to get 50 percent plus one but joe clark set the bar at 70 percent stephen harper set the bar at 80 percent and got 85 percent what does Andrew Scheer need to get in the April leadership race to maintain his leadership. What's the threshold? I, I have confidence in the leader's abilities. Why can't you, but, but why can't you guys just answer it? Andrew Scheer didn't answer that question. Is it 50 plus one? Is it 70? Is it 75? Is it 80 percent? What is it? I think we've got a long time between now and then and we need to be focused on what we're doing now in the House of Commons but for it, Canadians. But it's important because you've got people calling for him to resign. I, I, what constitutes support for a leader in your party when he's under attack. In your mind, does he have to get a threshold over 75%? What is the acceptable threshold? I think he has to have the hearts and minds and it has to be, uh, and, and he has that confidence. You think, so you're looking at me and telling me that that Andrew Scheer has the hearts and minds of conservatives, even after the earfully got in Quebec, even after you've got all this stuff popping up all over the place. Obviously, there's things that we need to do better, but that doesn't mean that they think that this isn't the leader to do it. And I support Andrew Scheer. And, well, I know uh, you do. He, he just made you deputy leader, but he's fired three. His campaign manager was fired, his chief of staff was fired, and his communications director was fired. He didn't even replace them yet. So now there's this kind of gaping hole. Why didn't he find a new team right now? What's the holdup? Post-campaign is always a chaotic period, and, uh, and we're working to make sure that we get ourselves organized, and that's where we are at the moment. Would you or will you march in a gay pride parade? I did for three years as a liberal, four years, as, and then uh, certainly I did as a conservative as well. Absolutely. Do you think Andrew Scheer should? I think that there are many ways that you can show your advocacy and your support and a parade, marching in a parade is only one of them. Not everybody feels comfortable marching right, in a parade enough. regardless of what the but topic is. But have you is. had a kind of conversation with Andrew Shearer and said, listen, now that I'm your deputy leader, let's talk truth. You got to fix this problem because it's been dogging you since the election. Have you told him that? I am privileged to have opportunities to speak to him and we talk about all kinds of things. Is he going to change? Well, he knows that he's going to do some things differently because he is focused on right. doing things for Canadians. And so, of course, there's things that he's going to work on. Well, you've got a very challenging new job as the new deputy leader of the Conservatives. Interesting times. I really appreciate you joining us. Thank you. And thank you for having me.